common legal drugs such as caffeine and nicotine are stimulants, as are a variety of over-the-counter medications. We spoke with Dr. Anthony Chang at Children's Hospital of Orange County and asked him what it means when a medication indicates there is a stimulant inside. There are a lot of occasions that we actually end up giving it, maybe we're not aware of it. Um, one common group would be a lot of the cold medications that we give children when they have a cold actually have stimulants. Um, another big category would be the medications. I would say about 90% of the medications that are now given for uh, attention deficit disorder are actually termed stimulants because they increase the activity of the heart and the circulation. We ask about the side effects of stimulants on children. Some of the um, medications that are prescribed for attention deficit disorder um, are known to increase uh, heart rate, are known to increase blood pressure, although uh, not in a even moderate uh, degree, but to, to a small degree, and can potentially uh, increase the likelihood of certain children with risk factors to have arrhythmias or abnormal heartbeats. We wanted to know about screening or exams that can track the impact of stimulants. So it will be a family history for any history of sudden death or, uh, in the family or any heart muscle problem or congenital heart disease. The second aspect of this will be a physical examination and paying attention particularly to the heart part examination obviously for any heart murmurs or abnormal rhythm. And then I think the third and reasonable screening process should include an electrocardiogram so certainly if there's a family history of a sudden cardiac death, especially less than 40, or a, uh, a rhythm problem that's already been diagnosed, or uh, early heart attack, all of these things, I think the key word is early uh, or less than age 40, that should prompt a, a uh, very aggressive screening strategy to diagnose uh, potential uh, inherited disorders. So actually I've had plenty of families with one member diagnosed by a screening electrocardiogram for a disease and all of a sudden now we're realizing that several other members in the family also have some acquired or congenital heart disease. There is a controversy regarding medications with stimulants and children. The controversy regarding the medication is that whether or not it leads to an increased incidence of sudden cardiac death in population that have a normal heart and also whether or not it leads to increased incidence of sudden death in children and young adults that may have undiagnosed heart conditions because not everyone has had a screening electrocardiogram. At what age should an adolescent get an electrocardiogram? It's going to be between 14 and 18. So that happens to be the time that um, the adolescents tend to be more athletically involved or active. And um, so the underlying conditions for uh, some of the sudden cardiac death will surface uh, particularly in that time so I would recommend um, ideally you know before age 15 but certainly between ages of 15 and 18 to have a, uh, an electrocardiogram.